Okay, let's just go through the first couple of steps. So I've done step one, I've imported the unaligned sequence. We can see it here. So the first step was to say, right, let's adorn this. Let's give this some annotation from Unicode. Um, and the web service menu, fetch database references, and I'm going to go to Unipot. And we can see a little status message saying, thinking about it, fetching DBRS, it's now completed. So nothing much that seems to have changed. But if I say, turn on the sequence feature display, I get some coloring appearing. And if I want to know what that means, I go to my feature settings configuration. You can see the group is Unipot, so that's where it's come from. These are all the, the annotations on these uh, uh, sequences that have been added onto my alignment. I can turn these on and off, change the colors, change the ordering as I wish to. So that's just to let you know it's there, but I'm also, just, I'll just turn that off for a moment. We've got the unaligned sequences. Okay, so the same applies now that I'm going to do the next step. I go to the calculate menu. And about four down in that list is get cross references. And it says, okay, I have cross references from here to Emble CDS. So I'm going to pick that and it's going to go and search Emble CDS. We can see it's searching. And we think about that. So it's going off to the Emble CDS database, retrieving the cross referenced um, nucleotides. And it puts up our split screen display where we have proteins in the lower half of the display and the corresponding linked codons in the upper half. As I move my mouse, uh, GRView can track the links between these. Uh, the relevance of this tracking will become hopefully ever more clear as we work through today's exercises, because what we're really looking at is the effect on protein of mutations in the coding sequence. So that as we start to add in data about variation in the coding, we should be able to use that to increase the information on the protein and ultimately the protein structures. So if I look at in the lower panel, I'll, I'll pick the second one. Fair cap and starts with methionine, and that is coded for by the codon ATG, and so on. Each successive codon or three nucleotides is the DNA codes for the amino acid in the protein. So what we're seeing here is the relationship between the, the genomic coding sequence and the, the protein. 